Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we are gonna go on another fish adventure. Well, okay, tuna. I know tuna is a fish, technically, but I don't really put it in the fish category for whatever reason. I put it in the sushi category. But sushi is fish most of the time, but for some reason it's separated in my brain. I don't know, maybe I'm a weirdo. I eat tuna all of the time. I eat tuna fish, like in tuna fish sandwich, but I also eat spicy tuna in sushi. Um, so I, I mean, I know that I say that I don't like fish, but I really like tuna. So I should like tuna in general, but um, I've seen a lot of recipes where you just kind of sear the tuna and then you enjoy it like that, kind of like a sashimi type. I know sashimi is you don't really cook it at all, but whatever. Anyway, I thought it would be fun to just try my own seared tuna at home because we're on this kind of 2021 fish adventure and why not? Looks quick, easy, like five minute recipe. Get it together and go and if this is good, Tuna is actually not that expensive. If you can find it in your supermarket, why not? Instead of grabbing a burger, grab tuna. Takes you five minutes, boom, if it's amazing, why wouldn't you do it? Now, the recipe I'm gonna use is actually taken from Tyler Florence from the Food Network. Um, I did make a few adjustments because I didn't have fresh ginger and I didn't have fresh cilantro. So instead I adjusted his fresh ingredients for some of the dried ingredients, which actually works out really well. So without further ado, let's do this recipe. You ready? Let's go. All right, so like promised, this is a really quick recipe. We are gonna make a little vinaigrette slash marinade that is gonna actually go into the pan when we're cooking it, and then that's going to be it. So let's quickly work on the marinade. And like I did mention, I did make a few adjustments of my own because I didn't have any fresh ingredients. Um, but actually, I think this is gonna work out for me a lot better because oftentimes, um, I don't have fresh ginger in my refrigerator, but I always have dried ginger in my cupboard. So yeah, I just did everything dried. All right, so first of all, we are gonna need one fourth of a cup of olive oil. All right, and I will get the olive oil right here. We're also going to need quite a bit of olive oil in our pan. So I will just drizzle my olive oil over here. And that's just so that our tuna doesn't stick to the pan. Though this is the Pampered Chef stainless steel nonstick pan, so I know it's not going to stick, but this is what Tyler did, so that's what I'm gonna do. I know I'm not always a rule follower, but today we're gonna follow some of the rules. We'll keep that nearby just in case. And I won't start that yet because it's gonna go really quick once this is all together. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is add the juice of two limes. I'm going to add a pinch of sugar, and he said two handfuls of cilantro. I'm guessing at two handfuls. I don't know if he meant his handful, my handful, Gordon Ramsay's handful, my daughter's handful, so I'm just kind of guessing here. So I have about three tablespoons of dried cilantro. I don't know if it's right. It could be right. Maybe it's not. We'll see. And then I also have some dried ginger, some dried garlic, and some dried jalapeno. So we're just gonna add all that. And all of the recipe totals will be in the comments. Um, I will link Tyler's original recipe in the comments below, um, but I, I will also link my recipe that I made the adjustments to as um, with all the dry ingredients because it did take me a little Googling to find out um, what those dry ingredients might be. I'm just gonna give this a little whisk and, whoa, jumping out of the bowl as per usual. And that's it. So let's taste, ooh. Nice and limey. All right, we'll let that sit there for just a moment. All right, now let's go ahead and focus on our tuna. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my pan started. 
Um, he didn't say what heat to put it on, so I am just going to put it on medium high heat and we are going to salt and pepper these steaks well. Make sure you get plenty of salt and pepper on both sides. Whoa, that one's a little coming apart already. It's very tender. Make sure you get both sides well salt and peppered. As soon as you see the oil start to smoke a little bit, it is ready to go. So we are gonna go ahead and stick a fillet down and don't flop it in there because you don't want the oil to splatter. And I'm just gonna move the oil around a little bit. And it's not gonna take long at all. His took literally like two minutes and his was a little thicker. So I'm probably gonna give that about a minute before I flip it over. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and get my avocado ready. So I'm just gonna cut it right down the center. I'm gonna watch that very carefully because I don't wanna overcook it. Wouldn't that be horrible? Overcook my seared steaks. Ooh, beautiful avocado. You know how you open an avocado and you're always like, <gasps> what's gonna happen? Is it gonna be perfect? Oh, there we go. Pit out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip those. All right. Looks good, okay. Now, right now is where we're going to, oh, let me grab. We're gonna, I'm gonna give this another little mix and I'm going to put some of this sauce over each of these. Little fillets. But I wanna save some of the sauce as well. So don't put it all over. Okay, we're just gonna give it one more minute. I'm gonna take out my avocado here using the spoon method. Perfect. Whoa, squirrely. All right, I'm gonna give my avocado some slices. Okay, that needs to come out of the pan right now. All right, let's get those. I actually think, oh no, I actually think that one overcooked just a tiny bit, but maybe not, maybe I'm in luck. All right, and that should be it, okay? We're gonna let those rest for just a second. Let me take this off of the heat. I'm worried, but I'm excited, but I'm worried because it's the first time I actually am feeling a little anxiety about cutting it, but you know what? It's okay. It's all an adventure. If it's overcooked, it's overcooked, but I see some pink in it, so we should be okay. Here we go. Oh. You see that? There's some pink. There is some overdoneness, but I think that was due to the fact that I ha my fillets were way thinner than Tyler's, but all in all, there's still some pink in there. So I think um, generally speaking, actually there's still a good bit of pink in there. So that actually makes me pretty happy. And uh, of course, the real question will be how she tastes because that's always the real. I mean, how she looks, they say that you eat with your eyes first and then you eat with your mouth, obviously. Um, so it just matters what it looks like first and then it matters what it tastes like. Let me grab the spatula. Ah, oh, look at that. Plating. Let's see if I can fan that out so that we can see it. 
Not bad, not bad for my first seared tuna. There's a section of it that is a little more overdone than the next, but I'm pleased. Let me put some avocado on there and top it off with a little bit extra of your sauce so that you have fresh sauce. Ooh. Up close time, you ready for this? Wow. Let's look at that. That actually looks pretty amazing. If I was served that at a restaurant, I would be pretty pleased. But really, she can look all she wants, but how does she taste? All right, so let's just taste the tuna by itself to start with. Here we go, tuna. Ooh. Ooh, that's citrusy. That's got a good flavor. Mmm. Ooh, I'd make that again. All right, now with some avocado. Mmm. That's fun. That's really good. This is a keeper. Wow. And in five minutes, I have a restaurant quality meal. So exciting. I feel like if you could find fresh ingredients, it would kick it up that extra notch um, because I feel like um, the fresh garlic and the fresh ginger would just be like, mm, that would be amazing. But right now, this flavor is really good. Um, I really like it. This is, this is definitely a great meal, a great lunch, um, and relatively cheap. Tuna is not that expensive. Um, and in five minutes, I have a healthy, well, relatively healthy meal. Good fats. We're just going to go with a good fats meal that is um, high class. We'll just go with that. Mmm, fresh scrub. All right. Well, I'm going to get off here so I can eat this and feed other people, at least two other people. All right. That's it for me. If you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week, and I'm always looking for the next adventure. So if you got one for me, leave it in the comments below, and I will see what I can do. Otherwise, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Yes.